A few days ago, I tested what I thought was the best budget driver of 2021, the Benross Delta X driver. So now I thought let's test the best budget irons of 2021, the Benross Delta X irons. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all to the channel. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel, but guys, if you are new to the channel, you're definitely gonna to want to hit that subscribe button in this video. In the last video where we tested the, the head cover doesn't get any easier to take off. In the last video where we tested the Ben Ross Delta X driver, for me, one of the best budget drivers of the year, we gave it away, or we are giving it away. So make sure you get over there if you want a chance to win this Ben Ross driver. <sighs> Today, you guessed it, we are not only testing the Ben Ross Delta X irons, but we're also giving away a full set of irons. So all you have to do, you have to be a subscriber to the channel, you have to like this video, and you have to comment below Ben Ross. You can see the spelling there, um, there. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, there's no better time to do so. Right, let's get into the review. Interesting. Interesting. You see guys, I'm, all, I'm almost gonna mimic a little bit of what I said in the Ben Ross Delta X driver review in this Ben Ross Delta X iron review, in that Ben Ross is a company that don't pay a lot for marketing, they don't charge the earth for golf clubs. These cost 400 and, I should probably know. These cost 469 pounds, and whilst I'm well aware that's by no means cheap, it's quite a good price for a full set of brand new golf clubs, especially with KBS Tour 105 shafts, lanking grips, and a little bit of technology sprinkled on top, which we are going to cover in this video. Oh, that was a wonderful swing. Just swing like that every time. Now, I do have something to admit in this video. These irons, they're not, as you can see, they're probably not what I would spec. They're not what I would choose. They're a little bit big, but then similar to the idea behind the Ben Ross Delta X driver, Generally, these are gonna be for the beginner golfer, the golfer who maybe doesn't play that often, wants to make sure they like it, want to buy a new set of golf clubs, not necessarily a second-hand set. So they don't want to be small, they don't want to be blades, they want to be a little bit forgiving. Looking down at them, looking down at them, the top line is actually quite nice. It's not too thick, and that's one thing which blends them into not just being. That was a great shot. The top line for me is something which blends them into being not just a massive forgiving iron and actually gives them a little a bit of character as well. I've just hit a nine iron there, 141 yards. It's spun at 7,600, which for a cavity back iron isn't bad at all. And it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it felt okay. They don't feel amazingly soft. They're not a forged head, but for 469 pound, that wasn't the best one, but it's still gone. It's still gone. I've, I've caught a couple of these 99s a little bit bottomy, as you can probably see there. And actually, performance-wise and grouping-wise, they've not done bad at all. Let's go one more 99, then we're gonna cycle through the seven and the five iron to test the full set. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please, 469. I mean, the one thing is, if you are a bit of a bag snob and a brand snob, is Ben Ross a cool brand, is it a brand where you get them out and people say, oh look, he's got them new Ben Ross irons. Probably not. But then you're paying half the price of what you could be paying for the latest Titleist Callaway Ping Mizuno. So people say, oh look, he's got those new irons that are actually really reasonably priced and he's playing really well with them. Is that what you want? Looking at the seven iron, again, quite a big surface area, so it is gonna fill you with confidence. It has almost a lovely brushed satin finish on here, and the finish does remind me of the Callaway Apex, just with that. I'd be interested to see how it marks up, but it looks really, really nice when it's new, which you could have if you subscribe and comment below and like. So the clubs are a satin plated 431 stainless steel, which means absolutely nothing to me, but if you are up on your metals, then maybe it means more to you. All I know is they don't feel horrendous. Actually, they feel quite good. 171 yards with a seven iron, spinning at 5.3. The spin's a little bit low on that one, but it felt fine, like fine. A Little bit left again, but that's obviously me because I'm just rubbish 
All I'm going to do this season is aim at the right hand side of greens and then if we can be consistent like that then why not. Technology wise in these clubs, apart from the satin plating which is designed to give these golf clubs a softer feel, we also have the CT face design as you can see there. That's a heat treating process which is supposed to bring these golf clubs right up to the RNA legal limit of 239 milliseconds that the ball can spend on the face. That stands for characteristics of time. Oh, that felt wonderful. Wonderful. What I like about these is they're not absolute missiles. They're not going a million miles. Loft wise, I don't think they're overly strong. I can't find the exact lofts anywhere, but they don't seem to be going too far, like I said. Tech wise, there's also a new strategic weighting technology in here where the weight's being moved closer to the toe. That's meant to increase the sweet spot, which is, um, I mean, it's pretty massive anyway. So all in all for 469 quid, you're not doing bad tech wise. That's got to be left. That was a terrible sweep. Four left with a seven iron. Uh, it was going well though. I felt like the, the test was doing okay apart from that. Now I can't even get the ball on the mat. There we go. So let's get through this seven iron and five iron. Let's see how they perform. Feel wise, they definitely don't feel like a soft forged iron, but then that's not what they're professing to be. Guys, let me know. Could you see yourself using these irons for that price? It's an interesting debate. Better. Try to cut back that one. I like that. Right, last seven iron. Quite an array of shots there, really. Oh, and that's just an absolute peach to finish on with the seven iron. I've actually struck the seven iron quite well. So let's move on to the five and let's see if we can keep this. Because to be honest, the distance and performance is pretty good. And if that's all that matters to you when you're buying golf clubs, then maybe save yourself some money and go for something a little bit more budget, a little bit cheaper, but make sure you do get those premium components because that's really what matters, isn't it? Mostly, right, five iron. I think we've got, I think we've got a 190 in here with a good one. <laughs> Stop. Stop, can we, I'm, I'm not hitting anymore. No way. Wow. I mean, the joy that could bring to my face if I hit that on the golf course would be remarkable. That strike was impeccable. And I must say, the person who does win these and the person who wins the driver, you've got yourself an absolute steal. Um, obviously because you've got them for free. But to be honest, I didn't expect to like these clubs as much as I did. That's my honest opinion. And that's where shelf appeal plays such a huge role for people. Is that going to act against them when you do maybe go and potentially buy the Ben Ross Delta X irons and driver? I think it will, but it shouldn't. That was a very deep lesson for us all there, wasn't it? All because I've struck a five iron well for a change. Oh, it's even better. It's even better. <laughs> Last time I did that, I think I broke my knee, but really enjoying this right a couple more with the five i'm gonna i'm gonna spoiler alert these numbers are gonna be good not that oh, you see that's when you get carried away like that's that's just terrible i've hit loads of really good shots in this test and the dispersion was going to be probably some of the best we've had for a long time and then two bad swings and it all looks messy. Um, offset wise, they're actually not too bad at all. Like with this top line and with the offset, the five iron actually looks like more of a player's club. And that's one thing which, I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, because they're almost a little bit, they're almost lost in what they're trying to be, which I mean, isn't ideal. Probably a little bit like me, but. Interesting, that's the first real miss strike I've had. That was really healy and the distance has dropped quite considerably, um, but it's a lot straighter. So last shot, and then we're going to take a look at these numbers. Oh, that was a tired golf swing. Right, come on, let's have a good one. No, no, but I don't want that to overshadow. <laughs> I don't want that to overshadow what great clubs I think these are, especially for the price. I don't often refer to price when I review golf clubs, but I feel like with this category, you almost kind of have to get it in there. So how have the Benross Delta X irons performed? Let's take a look. 
So dispersion, we'll start with the worst one, which was the last, to be honest, just those last two shots, really. Three really good five irons, a couple of bad ones. No golf club's gonna save that. Seven iron, not too bad at all. Some nice peak heights there. One which went really, it's a little bit higher actually. I struck that one a little bit better. All in all, not too dissatisfied with that. And nine iron wise, some lovely kind of rainbow flights there, as you can see. Again, most of those are gonna be hitting the green, you would hope, from around 140 yards. What about the numbers? So numbers for the nine iron, I'm gonna show you all of these and they're very quite heavily obviously down to how I've struck them. We've got 137, 133, 142. So there's quite a variance there. Averaging out at 140, which for a nine iron isn't too bad. I think I would hope for a little bit more, maybe a 145, but, but when we get over to the seven iron, 170, 168, 171, 172, 169, you can't get much more consistent than that, can you? Five shots, all within four yards of each other near enough. Well, not near enough, within four yards of each other. And that's going to give us an average of 170 on the nose. The really impressive thing for me there is the spin at 5.8, which although may seem low, but actually for me with this kind of club, is still pretty impressive. What about the five iron, you ask? Well, the five iron, I mean, apart from the last two shots, I absolutely love the five iron. 194, 195, 193. I wish I could have just bottled those. Should have probably quit while I was ahead. Then a 177 and a 183, which probably does say a little bit more about where my ball striking is at on average. So we're averaging at 188, 191 total. Again, with a quite impressive spin at 4,524. So what do I think to these irons? To be honest, I've kind of given the game away already, haven't I? But I'm a little bit blown away by them. I didn't expect them to feel as good as they did. Um, looks wise, they kind of are what you would expect them to be. They're a bigger forgiving iron, but the top line's quite nice and there's not as much offset as maybe you would like if you are wanting a forgiving iron. So not overly sure about that. Performance wise, I cannot have any problems with these whatsoever. The shafts are premium, the grips are premium, the heads feel good. 469 quid what more do you want guys if you do want to win these make sure you do hit that subscribe button below leave us a like comment below um comment below ben ross and you'll be in with a chance of winning these irons also if you want the driver go check out the driver review that's launched well it's actually going very soon now it's live time but it's there already so i'll link it somewhere in this video as well and apart from that thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it leave us a like and i'll see you all tomorrow bye